my blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here and going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Just had a field day. Still worth a closer look. Now, you piece of filth.
do we have here? Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Let's go! Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream, then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, we're like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seems someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, 
from the woods. A roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why, the debt owed Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Witcher, a word, please. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner, wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zerikania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Dea most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family? You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she alright? In good health? Safe? 
Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. I've done my part. You've got dozens of men. There's got to be someone you can send. You refuse to go? Mm-hmm. Fuck you! Yet, if you're ever in the area, by chance even, take this and just make sure she's all right. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What have Anna learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. 